Hello everyone, I am Harshita and today we are going to discuss about the on account receipt concept in the account receivable. So first of all, what is on account receipt? Like for, ex for an example, if we have a transaction of say 9,000, but we receive from customer say 10,000, the extra amount of 1,000 which we received from the customer, customer wants to keep with the supplier only. Customer do not want a refund of that extra amount. So we can use the concept of the on account receipt that is using the extra amount which we have received from the customer for some future use or future purpose. We can say that it's like a suspense account by keeping the extra amount unapplied in the on account receipt or suspense account in the instance. Fine. So the steps which we need to follow here are first we need to create a transaction then we will create a receipt and we will see how to apply an on account application. And after applying the on account application in future, if you want to use or you want to apply that on account receipt for some purpose, you can go to manage receipt and, and apply on account. And the amount will be available for the usage. Fine. So we will go to the instance and see how it can be done. Now we will first create a transaction of amount 9,000. For that, go to navigator, go to billing in receivable. Go to task list, create transaction. Give the detail like transaction class, business unit, transaction source type. Then give the customer now. Give the description here, quantity, an amount, fine. Now, complete and review. So this is how we have created the transaction of amount 9,000. So this is our transaction number 60766. Fine. Now we will do booking of the receipt. So for that, we need to go to receivable under receivable accounts receivable. Go to task list, create receipt. Fine, give the receipt method. Give the receipt method, then receipt number. Sign and the amount, say 10,000. We have received extra from the customer. Then give the customer here. Give site. And Submit and apply manually. Now, 
you can see here entered amount is 10,000, unapplied amount is 10,000. Now we will add application. Give here the transaction number. It was 60766. Fine. You can see that total applied amount is 9630 and unapplied is coming 370. What happened is we have created the transaction for 9,000, but it became 9,630 due to tax. Fine, that's why it is coming 9,630 and we have entered amount and received 10,000. So balance extra is coming here as 370 only, not 1,000. Fine, now we will see how we can apply on account. Fine. So you need to go to actions more and you are able to see create on account uh, on account application. Just click on it. It is saying application amount and giving the dates. Just say OK. Fine. And save it. Now you can see that from unapplied amount, 370 moved to the on account amount. Fine, so this is how you can use the on account application. Now, if you want to use the 370 in some future uh, purpose, you can just go again to actions, more. Sorry, you can just go to actions and you can see unapplied application is coming, just click on it. Save and close. Now it is again came under the unapplied amount from the on account amount. And you can apply this 370 after moving the amount from on account to unapplied. Fine. So this is how you can create a transaction, book a receipt, and can apply on account concept on the extra receipt amount. And whenever in future you want to use this extra amount for any purpose, you can just unapply the application and move it to the unapplied amount and can use the same. So this was all about it. Thank you.